Hi, this is Dina with Digital Hotcakes, and I am in Pinnacle Studio Ultimate Collection version 15, and I'm going to show you how to create this travel intro. To create this intro, you're going to need some of the clips off of our Home Movie Essentials Volume Number 1 Travel. Specifically, we're using the Jet Wipe Green, the Travel Album Open Green, and the World Flight AVI. So let's begin by clearing everything out of our timeline so we can rebuild. Okay, and the first thing we want to do is we're going to grab our World Flight AVI and we're going to put it in our video track. Now it's 20 seconds long. We actually need it to be a little bit longer than that. So I'm going to drag it again and drop it right behind the first one. And I know that it needs to be 23 seconds long, so I'm going to grab it and drag it back to 23 seconds. Now we need to make an adjustment to the audio on this file because we don't want to hear the audio until the, the travel book actually opens. So we need to turn the audio down for a while and we can do that by right clicking on the audio track here and we're going to select add volume setting. And that gives us this little square here. And What we're going to do is we're going to grab that and we're going to drag it to the 12 and a half second mark which is kind of where it is right now. And then we're going to grab the line in front of our little square here and drag it all the way down below the audio. So there we have our audio set. Not to, We won't be able to hear any audio until the 12 and a half second mark. Next we need to add our tra travel album open green. So we're going to put that in our overlay track. Let's try that again. Okay, now this is an overlay. We need to set the chroma key. So if we double click on, on the clip here in the overlay track, it's going to open up our video toolbox. And we're going to choose the tool right here. Edit the video overlay using picture in picture or chroma keying. Select the chroma key tab. And then check the enable chroma keying box right here. Okay, and now we can add our caption or our title. We're going we're gonna to click on the Create or Edit a Title tool, and we're going to click on the Motion Title Overlay. Okay, now you can type your title. You can make it look, obviously, how, however you want it to look. I'm going to use the Impact font, uh, about size of 52. And we're going we're gonna to go into London. Okay. And I'm also going to add a shadow to that title. So add a shadow. Okay. When you get your title how you want it to look, um, this title needs to come in at the 17. Well, actually, we need to go up here to the duration and set it to 23 seconds. And we need the title to come in at the 17 second mark. So come down here to the title timeline and just grab the beginning and drag it over to the 17 second mark on the timeline. Okay, now we need to add some motion to that title. So let's click on our motion tool right here. And under, under the enter tab, the, the motion we want to use here is the page from infinity. So just click on that and grab it and put it on the beginning of your timeline down here on your title. And we also just need that to be a second long. So grab it, grab it here on the timeline and pull it back to where it's only a second long. Okay, now for our exit, we're going to use page from top, or page to top, I should say. So scroll down till you see the page to top. And I'm looking for it. There it is. Okay. And, and drag and drop that on the end of your title timeline. And once again, we need that to only be a second long, so grab it at the, grab it at the beginning and drag it over to the one second mark. 
so both our both our motions our inner and our exit motions are only a second long and your titles coming in at 17 seconds okay we're done with our title we'll click OK next let's let's add that jet wipe all right the jet wipe we're going well first before we add the jet wipe we need to add our picture or video so here's our picture of London we're going to put it directly behind our world flight clip and we'll double click on that picture and do any kind of adjustment that you need to do to it get it to where you want it to look now I'm just gonna since this is a picture I'm just gonna make it um, a duration of three seconds okay now we can add our jet wipe now we're going to position our jet wipe between these two clips, between the end of the world flight and our, our picture or if you a video, or your, your video if you put a video there. So drag the drag the jet wipe down to your overlay track. And I know it probably needs to be at at about 21 and a half seconds. Okay, and this again is an overlay, which means we're going to have to apply the chroma key. So go ahead and double click on it. Select your tool for chroma keying. Chroma key tab. Enable chroma keying. Okay. Now the last thing we're going to do is we're going to add a soundtrack. Now we're, we're using a clip that we purchased from smartsound.com, and it's called Let's Go. So I'm going to put that down in my audio track or my music track. And that's it. Let's take a look. Thanks for watching.